Hello, my name is Justin, and today I'm going to give you a quick video on how to give a hind leg maneuver on a small and large dog. The only reason I'm doing this because a few years ago I found videos on it, and I actually had to experience it myself when my big dog decided to swallow a whole chicken leg. So first off, I want to start off with Nyla. This is little Nyla, and uh, from my experience, I noticed the, I noticed the symptoms when I realized he was choking. His eyes got really big, and he started obviously making the sounds that he was choking. And then his uh, his rib cage swelled up, so that's when I kind of knew. So I'm gonna use her to show you a little bit easier because my dog's hair you can't see it as much. But right here, but on between the top two nipples, right under the sternum, like right where that stomach kind of ends and it gets to the bone, what you want to do, you can either hold them when it's a small dog or put them on the ground. But for sake of the video, I'll put them on the ground. So what you want to do is you want to kind of put your hand right here, right under it, it's right where the stomach ends. And you wanna go up and in, and you wanna put some force into it. With a small dog, maybe put your hand up right here. Um, you can put, I mean, don't be afraid to put force into it. You just obviously don't wanna like kill the dog, but just don't hit him either. Just kinda of go up and in, do it a couple times, and you'll hear him kinda of like make the noise that air is coming up. Pretty simple. You just gotta make sure you stay calm and don't panic. Now this is big old Sam right here. Come here, Sam, get up. Put you on YouTube. This is Sam. This was the dog that was choking. So what I did was obviously I was kind of like tapping him because I was making sure he wasn't just playing. I don't know if dogs actually do that, but whatever. So with the with him it's a little bit easier because I can make a fist. And same thing, just right where there's when it stops being soft, it gets to the bone and it kind of like makes a V shape. Right in there at the tip of the sternum, I kind of went like that and I grabbed it with my other hand and I went up. And I went in and I was pulling his back legs up like that. Like I did it about two or three times and that whole chicken leg just popped right out. And obviously we learned that he can't eat large items because he gets too hungry. He's a big old fat dog, but that's pretty much it. And also, like I said, there's a lot of videos out there about stuff like this. And there's also videos about how to do CPR on dogs. So if, if I wanted you guys to be aware of what to do in situations like this because it helped me a lot. And that's pretty much it. Take care.